Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey to Crafting. And what we have here today is we're making um, crab meat with sawfish and rice. And we're gonna do it into like a pastry, if you will. So let's get started. I already mixed the codfish and the crab meat. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I get a spoon, I'm just gonna spoon in a spoon of rice. And I'm gonna show you guys how I pinch the, um, the side of my pastries. I'm just gonna put a little bit of rice in there. I'm gonna put it on top. All I do is just pinch the pinch them together. Just like that. That way I don't have to worry about them opening them open them up. Um as I put them in the um, oven. I'm not deep frying today. I'm going to put them in the oven. And once I'm finished with these, you can put whatever sauce you want on them. Okay. So this will go in the oven. Some people make their chicken pot pies this way. Um, but again, I'm doing um, crab meat and, and, and saltfish and rice. So I'm gonna show you one more time. I have two packs of these uh, um, pastry. Again, you can put how much you want. And this is our saltfish and crab meat with olive oil. I forgot to have make some olive oil in it just so it won't dry out. Nobody wants to eat anything dry. I know I don't. All right? So I want to give you guys a look into what I use. This is what I use. Yep, that's it. Okay, so you guys get the idea. So when I finish, I just take a little bit of egg wash and I'm just going to put it around here like this. It's going to give us a nice color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the oven and I'll be back to show it to you in about 20 minutes. So I'm not sure if I showed you the can of crab meat, but yeah, it's this. It's just uh, regular crab meat in a can. So let's continue. Guys, you will love them. You will really love them. Like I said, you can use any sauce you choose. Um, ketchup, um, Radish, uh, barbecue, whatever sauce you choose, you can use. 
or you don't even have to um, use the sauce. That's one of the reasons why we put the um, the olive oil in there so it won't be dry. I tell you, you only need about one, or maybe two of these and be full. I tell you that. So today we're just going to make 10. Everyone in my household will get two. And then they'll be looking at me tomorrow for some more to make. And I might put, um, tomorrow I might put um, hamburger meat with cheese inside. So the sky's the limit when you're making these. I'm just going to press it down to make sure it goes through both of the pastries. And then you're just going to lift up. Ready for the for the oven? See that? And let's do the other one. Now guys, if you choose, so you could put um, strawberry reserve, um, apples, this thing can go on and on and on. You can put just so many different things inside these pastries. I would really like to make an apple pie and put it in there. Thinking about doing that real soon.
So the egg wash is going to give it a real nice golden color. So I'm going to put this in the oven with the other ones and we'll be right back. 